I have these textures and a couple objects. Let's create a new material, drag the textures in the inspector, and then apply the material to the objects. Because in this video, we will see how to change the offset of the material by code. Subscribe to support this content and let's start solving this problem. Let's create a new script and an empty game object to assign it. Inside the script, we're going to find a material variable, call it for example, my material, and in Unity, we assign the material from the assets folder to this variable in the inspector. As you can see in the inspector of the material, the offset is a vector2 value. So in our script, let's also define two float variables to set the x and y components of the offset of the material. We will change the offset in the update function so that we can see the changes in real time and we do it using the material variable with the dot operator access to the main texture offset variable and make this variable equal to a new vector2 composed by our float variables. If you press play and change the variables, you should see how the material offset changes. You could also define a vector2 variable and use it to directly modify the offset. You press play and the result is exactly the same. To finish this video, we will make this offset change automatically with a certain speed using what we learned in a previous video. If you want to watch it, I leave it here in the corner. Let's define a float variable for the speed, make it equal to 1. You could also define this variable as a range from minus 3 to 3 if you want, so that the variable looks like a slider in the inspector. And inside update, before assigning the vector to the offset of the material, we will increment the x component of the vector by the speed multiplied by time dot delta time. We will also check if that component is greater than 1, and in that case, decrement it by 1 unit, and also check if the component is less than minus 1, and in that case, increment it by 1 unit. I'm doing this to guarantee that the component always be between minus 1 and 1. If you press play, you will see that the texture automatically moves on the object with the speed you define in the inspector. Subscribe to this channel so we can see each other again in the next video.